final boss, the musical. Act 1, Scene 1. Our story begins at a liberal arts college, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. On screen, we see the waiting room for a video game. Hello? Ugh, seriously? Ow, where is everybody? It's five after six. Sorry, I had to get food and had like five panic attacks in the lettuce aisle, but I'm here now. Since when do you eat lettuce? People eat lettuce, Avery. Is this because you took that nutrition class? <laughs> I told you it would ruin you. I want to be nice to my body. Don't go soft on me, Al. Next thing you'll start being nice to me and then other people- Fuck off. You fuck off. And Lace, pick up the phone. Ugh. What's up, asshats? Just ass-hatting around, as usual. Speaking of hats, are y'all digging the new fedora? I figured I could spare a few bucks on a new skin. You know, commit to my aesthetic. Is your aesthetic just wildly unpopular 10th grader? 10th grade is too old for a fedora, no matter how unpopular you are. Well, my mom told me it looked quirky, so... Oh, no, Avery, baby, no. Don't listen to Al. Fedoras are anti-cool, which makes it super cool. I'm not getting into the semantics of anti-cool with you again, Lace. Has anyone heard from Gail? They didn't say they'd be late. Gail is dismantling the patriarchy elsewhere. Gail! Gail! Sorry, sorry, sorry! I was cramming for finals and totally blanked out. Nerd, 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 I think you were a little flat, Avery. Does it really count as cramming if finals aren't for another three weeks? If you're trying to get off the Harvard Law witless so you can get rich and die at 45, then yeah, it counts. Leave a beautiful corpse, I say. I made that up. Sure you did. Well, since we're all here, how about we get started? Hell yeah. You ready? Ready. Let's rock and roll. Five days, four weeks till graduation Three years, eight months of tribulation I don't know about you, but I feel alright I'm two weeks late on six assignments But my ass kick skills need some refinement So let's stop the talk and just freaking fight It's game, game on, on, die motherfuckers! Game, game on, on, pixelated suckers, yeah! Invite me, enrage me, distract me I've spent a long four years at college Got brains, got skills, mom, my knowledge Every second counts, so don't waste my time Hey, shit! Sorry! Kept eyes ahead with no distractions No friends till these sweeps wrong direction Now you got me hooked on low rise cry I know that you're feeling a little stressed out I know that you're scared what the future might bring about Maybe it's just me, but hear when I say You won't have a future if you don't get out of my way It's game on! Team super badass! Game on! Move over fat ass! Hey! Confuse me, confuse me, just don't let me think right now don't let me think right now don't let me think avery avery turn the volume down people are complaining from three floors up that's impossible i'm using my gaming headset avery flings an unplugged cord at the ra uh don't wake me up this time don't let it happen again i love you you're the best ra ever now then where were we Holy shit, I didn't think we'd reach the final boss this quickly. Come on, everyone! We are ready for this. To your places. Hey guys, I know that now's a bad time. Just wanna say if now's the last Game time. On. These years, these fights in daily gaming has made me... Ugh, what am I saying? Five days, four weeks till graduation. And I've got this weird bad gut sensation. Once we're past the boss, then what's left to fight? The feeling Of reaching for something Of nothing inside Of reaching the peak and of reaching our stride 
I finally feel it, so we better get this right. Oh, it's game on, let's kill the monster. Game on, in for the slaughter, yeah. yeah. We're closer than ever, it's been like forever. A fruitful endeavor, it's been. The Golden Cup. It's beautiful. I can't believe it. We beat the final boss. Lace should have the honors. They delivered the final blow. Ladies, gentlemen, distinguished guests, this is the moment of truth. This is the moment we've worked for for far too long. This is the threshold we know what to do. No. You do not. I was this close, you sap-sucking piece of crap. You don't get to shut your ass down just before Lace. I... What? Just want to make sure you know the audio is still working. As in, everyone can hear you having a rage sesh over there. Yeah, like, I'm fine. Just blows, you know? Updates. I think you blew out my eardrums, dude. Well, how about we check back in a couple hours and see if it's back up again? Maybe it saved our progress. In the meantime, does anyone want to come over to my dorm and hang? I don't have class tomorrow, so I'm just chilling. I really need to keep studying if we're not going to game, but um, I should have some time to hang on Friday. Gail, what? Yeah, Friday should Sunday. definitely work for me. See you guys. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I'm trying to pass my classes before graduating, so I'm going to go try and catch up on the last three weeks of work. Um, but uh, catch you at breakfast. Yeah, so I'm kind of tired, and it seems like everyone's busy, so see you. Okay, see ya. It seems like everybody's busy, so... <sighs> everyone's full of shit. Scene 2. The Quad. Avery sits scrolling through her phone. Lace walks in, wearing an extremely dramatic outfit. Hair full of gel, dark makeup, the works. Lace pretends not to notice Avery. Avery takes full notice of Lace. Hi. Oh, hey, sorry, I didn't see you there. Okay. So, are you ready to go to the farm festival? Yeah, dude, whenever the fam gets here, I'm ready to fly. Okay, Lace, like, why? Why what? Why did you dress like a ring wraith for the farm festival? You don't like it. No, it's literally just, like, you have, like, 40 layers of straight black clothing on. It's like I'm staring into the void. It's goth? It's clinical depression. See, this is what I don't get. Why does everyone assume I'm depressed or desperate for attention just because I dress this way? Why can't I simply just enjoy wearing black clothing? Enjoy, really. Those boots can't be comfortable. Uh, these boots have tempur insoles, but that is not the point. Look, I normally wouldn't care, but I don't want to go to a family farm festival with Edward Scissorhands. Couldn't you have toned it down for one day? Jeez, it's not a big deal, Avery. It's an outfit. Lace, I don't want strangers coming up and flicking holy water at us. Have you even considered dressing normally? Just once. Would you say that to a Mormon? What? Rip the necktie from his chest. Uh, what the fuck? Sin like a sod, give the finger to God, cause you can't let the wicked just rest. This is gonna be a whole thing, isn't it? Oh, you know it is. Sit back. Look out, there's a storm cloud full of ravens, a dark light parting the heavens. Oh wait, no, that's just me, and here I am. So lay down all of your judgments, I'll never make an adjustment, cause I look and I like what I see. And that's all I need, so what's the issue? Your dull mind's closed, oh god, I'd wish you just see me for me, a child of entropy. We've all got our quirks, mine's just easy to see, and that's how I like it. That's how I like it. You 
don't judge when a nun wears all of her nun shit when a wrestler puts on a ton it just doesn't bother you they've all got their reasons what about my dear i just feel very inclined dear to dress at the turn to the nines no harm no foul so what's the issue can't be controlled oh god i'd wish you just let me be me statement of the century we've all got our quirks darling let's set them free because i really like it that's all i like it no harm no foul so what's the issue can't be controlled so darling will you just set yourself free you be you i'll be me it's fun to look cool honey don't you agree i think you'd like it i think you'd like it i think you'd like it was the whole song really necessary no but it rocked Screw it. Tie your boots, at least. Safety first! Al and Gail enter. Hey! You two are late. Let's get moving. You guys have to see something first. I just checked to see if the game was working and found this. To my wonderful game devotees. It is with a heavy heart that I announce the end of the game's reign. Due to professional and personal conflicts, I no longer have the means to maintain the online server. In two weeks' time, the URL license will expire. And the site will shut down completely. Until then, enjoy this video of a turtle humping a shoe. Sincerely, the, the developer. developer. Oh my god. What do we do? Scene 3. The next day, the group gathers in Al's room. Okay, so we have three solid game choices here. Elf Tower. It's a pretty simple puzzle RPG game. We try to free elves from a tower, unveil a capitalist conspiracy to enslave them, yada yada. You have two minutes to solve the puzzle. Explore the room to find the escape switch and free the elves. Three, two, one, go! Oh Jesus, I thought we agreed no games with timers. The description didn't say anything about timers. Lace, you're walking into a wall. Fuck, I thought it was you. Guys, focus! We only have two minutes before those elves are so to the one percent. I think I found something over here. Aha! Uh -huh, you found me. I will give you magic beans if you can answer my riddle. Oh God, I'm so bad at riddles. Maybe it'll be an easy one? I can fly, but have no wings. I can cry, but I have no eyes. Wherever I go, darkness follows me. What am I? Uh, it might be... Nope, screw this. Give us the beans, bitch. Lace, for Christ's sake! I'm not here to use my brain. I'm gonna smash capitalism with my own two hands. Nice going, you commie bastard. Yeah, this definitely isn't going to work. Can we move on to the next game? Already on it. This one's pretty popular. Unfortunately, we'll be facing off with real players, so we might hear one or two profanities. Gail, cover your virgin ears. Oh, fuck off. Kind of graphic? I mean, 2D games are out of style. We may as well taste the future. What? No way we died that fast. We were just standing there. Why would anybody bomb us? Yeah, I'm not sure we're ready for mass multiplayer yet. Oh, come on, we barely tried. Let's do it again. Come on! So what's the next game? This is the last one we have for now. I had higher hopes for the first two, but let's hope this one is good. Third time's the charm, right? Hello. Hi. Hi. I can't seem to find my wedding ring. Can you help me find it? Yes. Yeah. Wait, how could she not find it? It was right there. Oh, thank you. My husband isn't home. He'd be furious if I lost it. Lace, what is this game? Shh, 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 shh. But I think I know something that would make him even angry. No, 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 Holy no, moly. no. This isn't the game from the list. You guys, I swear. This is the game we all chose. Turn it off. Ooh, wait, give her a sec. No. <laughs> the look on Gail's face. I wasn't making a face. We were all making a face. I genuinely couldn't help myself. There's nothing so bonding like playing a porn game with your best friends. We're blood siblings for life now. 
Okay, here's the real final game. This one's gonna be it. It has amazing reviews from like all over the world. I heard good things too. It's one of those ones vloggers play all the time. The graphics are supposed to be like the best ever made so far. Well, prepare to be amazed then because we're almost about to. Oh. Is that the price for each of us? Looks like it. And it's probably not half as good as our game. God, I would pay to get the old game back, but not for some good graphics, pompous ass replacement. Jesus, it says a 105 a month, not total. Oh, forget that. Let's just adjourn for now. I gotta go. I'll do more research later. Same Z. All right. Adios. Peace. See ya. Scene four. Lace and Avery exit. Gail lingers. Oh, I was gonna head downtown for coffee. Oh. So I was just wondering if oh it sure would be cool I'd love to go with you. I can wait here until my Uber comes. Do you want to come? Oh no, I thought you were asking if I wanted to come. I don't know why I thought that. I'm my brain. Uh... I mean, you could come, but I'm meeting with a family friend. No, no, my no, mom's no, it's, making me meet I wasn't. them because it's fine. they're a lawyer and they're don't in the area. Okay, sorry. Thanks. Um. I'd actually love for you to come because I kind of hate these meetings my mom sets up. But it'd be kind of rude to, like, bring a friend, Yeah, so. I should. But maybe another time we could get coffee? I mean, I know I'm busy all the time, oh, but... Oh, yeah, I mean, I've been busy too. I totally, like, it. it's fine. We'll hang out at some point. Have we ever hang out? Yes, what? Sorry, I mean, like, alone. I mean, not alone, like... In a void, but like without lace or Avery. Huh. I don't think so, actually. Huh. Do you want to? Sure. Yeah. Do you? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what if we hung out? No, that's crazy, but should we? Yeah. Oh my god. Like that meme. <laughs> But, like, we should, actually, because graduation is so soon, and I feel like, I don't know, we've been friends for so long. Yeah, it's kind of weird, actually. We really should. Do you know when we should? Because, like, I'm free. Oh, um, yeah. Let me check my calendar. Oh, I'll check mine. Uh, I don't know if... Because finals are two weeks away, and then there's a bunch of meetings and stuff I have to do for Harvard, and... I mean, if we skip one of the group meetings, we could hand then. It's kind of a waste to block off an hour to game every day when there's no game anymore, right? Oh. Yeah, we could skip one, I guess, but... Might that be kind of weird if you and I broke off just to be with each other? Right. Without them? Right. You don't have, like, any other free time? I mean, we could just have a meal together or something. I don't usually have time to go to the dining commons or anything. I mean, I've been going back and forth with Harvard and I've got six classes still. Six classes? How are you even alive? Well, we can't all take four classes and be English majors, Elle. Right. But even so, that's a lot. Sorry, that was rude. I didn't mean to say, like, you don't have it as hard as me. I'm just, I don't it's want fine. you to think I don't want to hang out with you. So I'm explaining why I'm so busy all the time. Well, um, let me know when things clear up. I'll be here. My rice here. Oh. Well, have a nice coffee, Ren. Thanks. Um. I'll see you around. Yeah, see you. Gail leaves the room and closes the door. They and Elle slump against either side of the door and sink to the ground. Shit. Shit.
Avery's room. Avery sits at her laptop and pops a Zyrtec into her mouth. God. <sighs> Pollen season. I swear, I've been popping these Zyrtec like candy and I still got boogers coming out my ears. <sighs> Ugh. Anyway, a lot to unpack here. It's been eight days since the game shut down, pretty much. Totally sucks. I mean, I get where the developer's coming from. It's a pain in the ass to maintain a server. You know, I'm a game design major. I get it. Coding the thing, updating it, whatever else you do. To be fair, I've only made one game myself. I changed majors from art history last year, so I've been kind of cramming to learn this stuff. We go to liberal arts school, and they don't really give a shit if you have any useful skills, so, you know. As long as you are learning something about yourself in the process. <laughs> I don't know how it's profitable on either end, but, uh, four more weeks till I graduate. Just hoping this bullshit degree will get me a job that won't make me want to shoot myself. I'm not suicidal. Like, I hate myself and I want to die, but that'd also be so sad because I'm, like, obsessed with myself. That's totally normal. Oh, jeez. Is she even listening? Bethilda! Don't leave me hanging! You there? Yes, I am here. Could losing the game be a blessing in disguise? Perhaps you'll have more time to focus on what's important, like your friends. <laughs> right. Like I'm going to spend my last days at college writing love letters to those twats. Humor, coping, it's fine. Um, you know, really it was the game that brought us together more than anything. When I met Lace and Al and Gail, we were the only juniors who hadn't really made friends yet. We would hang out once in a while, but it wasn't really deep until we discovered the game. It, like, fused us. 
Something about shooting up monsters together and knowing we'd always have our gaming time at the end of the day. We just... We had something really good going. And now the game is gone, so... Are you afraid your friendship will suffer without the game? More than that. Losing the game is losing so much. It's... Gail's room. Gail is on the phone. No, Mom, it's not a good idea to call Harvard. Because I'll be annoying them. They'll let me know when they let me know. Mom, Mom, I did send in the other essay last week. Yes, I kept the edits you make. Mom, do not call them. Al's room. Al does jumping jacks. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh my god. Ugh. Al sits down. She picks up a green smoothie and stares at it, disgusted. I love myself. I will do this, and I will stay strong. Nope. I'd rather hate myself. Nope. Oh god. Lace's room. Lace looks at various clothing items. Okay, this silver belt is an atrocity, but the red... Uh, no, the black is better. But is it... If you wear all black, your colors don't clash. Oh man, the Fashion Institute is going to hate that. The silver's fine. No, the red, the red... Can't I just come home if I don't get in? Come on, that's not fair! You didn't let me apply to a backup school! I already told you not call them! Seriously, stop it! Stop! Ugh! It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. <laughs> Nothing is. That's why everyone needs something that makes sense. Cause nothing makes sense if you think too long about it. So turn off your brain, don't be ashamed, everybody does it. Cause we all need something that'll get us to the end. Can't I be addicted to good exercise? Something more than what we need I could spend my time perfecting color schemes Practicing my art and paying dues But who's to say that time it was spent playing games and downing booze Everybody needs to be amused So why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I? study bond and only have a motive in my mind but can I take a second to forget the world, relax a mind I need something to get me through the night just through the night I'm an average kid and life is moving fast I don't know how Make my time well spent So rather than stress out And think about everything coming next I spend my time on something That makes sense That makes sense, right? Everyone needs something That makes sense So why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I? I? And now I dread to wake up To uncertain days I'm asking why. I'm asking why. I'm asking why. I'm asking why. I couldn't one thing in my life so still has stayed. I just wanna play. Just wanna play. Ooh. I just wanna play. Just wanna play. Everyone needs something that makes sense. Cause nothing makes sense if you think too long about it. So turn off your brain, don't be ashamed, 
everybody does it Cause we all need something that'll get us to the end We all need something that'll get us to the end That's it. Group meeting, my suite, ten minutes. Scene six. The dorm hallway. The group gathers outside the RA's door. Who is it? It's me, Avery. What do you want? Uh, you're a computer science major, right? Yeah. So? Well, I heard you're really good at, um, gathering information. Yeah, like, I heard you got, like, a gold medal at last year's Hackfest. It's Hackathon, and you don't get medals. Yeah, but, like, if they did give out medals, I heard you be, like, platinum. Like, I heard you hack so good, like, putting all those functions in and just getting at all those codes. Okay, look, none of us know what we're talking about. Let's cut to the chase. One of us will eat your ass if you help us track someone down. Nose goes. Lace touches their nose, followed by Gale and Avery. Well, what? We did not talk about this. The nose goes as spoken, Al. Wait, no, don't make me. I was tricked. No one's eating anyone's ass. We just need a small favor. So that hack fest stuff was an attempt at buttering me up? Hey, I know we haven't always gotten along very well. On account of your insanely loud gaming every single night. Yes, that. Well, I was hoping we could make a truce. We just need your help tracking someone down, and if you help us, I'll bring my gaming to the library. (laughs) Really? Because a little bird told me that your gaming days are over. Didn't the developer shut things down about a week ago? You know about that? I take my job very seriously. I'm always in the loop on my residents' hobbies, whether they let me in themselves or not. That's invasive, but okay, look, we need to track the game developer down. Do you think you can help us? What, so you can make him bring your game back? Yeah, no. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Can you please just hear us out? (sighs) Seriously? Don't you do computer science too? Why are you asking me? Game design, actually. And I tried, but, well, I suck. I'm no good with computers. I just use them for games and porn and memes, and I don't know how to get anything useful out of them. If you get your game back, you'll be back to screaming at your screen every night and pissing everybody off. I am contractually obligated not to help you. Look, I get it, trust me, but you will rip that contract to shreds when Al eats your ass. Lay, stop! Sweetheart, you're so wonderful at everything, I know you'll do a great job. Stop. This is stupid. What can you actually offer me? Uh, nothing. I don't know, we thought maybe you'd do it out of the kindness of your heart. Oh, yeah, I just checked. There's no kindness left in there. Sorry. Wait! Look, you don't understand. We are not just talking about a game here. This is about our lives. I mean, after we graduate, who knows if we'll have time to game? We'll be grown-ups with jobs. We'll be judged and scorned for being gamers. But here now, we're just gross college kids. We're free. Don't let us lose our final moments of glory. Don't let a flame die out. Okay, stop. First of all, y'all need serious therapy. Secondly, I'll do it for a hundred bucks. That's 25 each. We'll do it. The RA taps his phone. Cool. The developer's name is Riley Parks. He lives an hour away from here. What? What? The group looks at the RA's phone. That's it? You just Google game developer and his LinkedIn pops up? So it seems. Hundred bucks. I'll then more request to you. Peace. So, Avery, when you said you tried to track down the developer, were you using a block of wood for a computer, or...? I don't want to talk about it. So, not only are you out 25 bucks, but think of how much you dished out to the school, thinking you'd get smarter. Burn! Hey, we got the name. Riley Parks. We didn't have to pimp out Al to get it. Yeah, speaking of which, nose goes for us to seduce the developer. The group does nose goes. Avery is last. What? No! Congratulations, kid. You've earned our highest honor. Make him bring the game back. Scene 7. Avery's room. Avery takes out her laptop. (sighs) Fine, then. Riley Parks. Let's see what we've got. Okay. We'll start with the LinkedIn profile. 
Hello, fine person. My name is Mel Snoopview. I saw your resume. I would like to interview you for a very important job at my expensive company. And send. Oh, he replied? No, thanks. I'm not interested in taking a job right now. I'm still finishing high school. High school? What? The developer is four years younger than me, and my proudest work is Pong? Never mind that, though. I'm really insecure now. I'll just friend the kid on Facebook and ignore my twitching eyebrow, and I'll try another tactic here to get him to like me. Okay, let me try to get his attention. Do not come on too strong. You can like people on Facebook now. Is like that the new version of poking someone? I guess I'll try that. Whoa, God, this kid replies fast. Does he get out at all? Hey, how are you? Um, good. You're my first match on Facebook dating. Facebook dating? Oh, sweet Lord, what have I done? You don't happen to be free this Friday. My prom date bailed on me. I know we just met, but you seem pretty cool from your profile. You're into game design too? Oh my god, this is not what I expected, though I guess this is my job for which I was elected, and the only issue here is that the kid is 17. Oh god, 17? Prom? What is happening here? I'm gonna go to jail just for considering this. No, no, this is like crazy, like stupid crazy. This is crazy, right? <laughs> Hey, so small snag in the plan. Turns out the developer is a high schooler. I don't think we can go through with this. Yeah, he invited me to prom, but like, what? It's fine. I'll just look for new games. I'm sure we'll find some. Lace, Gail, and Al suddenly burst through the door. Eyes ahead, soldier! How the hell did you get here so fast? Lace gathered us as soon as they heard. We were literally on the phone for like five just seconds. Just suspend your disbelief a little, Avery. We've got to keep this thing moving. What was wrong with the pace before? Here's out, love. Pass the mic. So you think you've hit a snack. Tricked a teenager, I guess you shouldn't brag, but just think about the cause. Don't quite cut your loss. Life is long and life is hard. Opportunity can catch us all off guard, but just think about the cause. And breathe and take a pause. This could be our final chance. Of Do it for the game. For the game Let's be crazy just for once One for all and all for one Hold up guys, are you insane? Don't you think that it feels worth it for the game? We'll just infiltrate a prom Wait, what? This could be some fun Wait, why would we go to a prom? Why don't we just ask the developer to meet Avery somewhere else? Oh, I don't know. I feel bad for the poor kid, losing their prom date. We're not going to prom. That's like, that's not even legal. I do still have my dress from prom. Isn't it less creepy if we met them at prom? You know, instead of leading them to an undisclosed location? I think it's creepy either way. But shit, we've gone this far, haven't we? You know, even though this is all definitely insane, I'm sort of getting on board with it? Yes! Come on, it's our senior year! What's wrong with a little crazy? We've only got a few more months before adulthood. We're adults now. We're just adults planning on crashing a high school prom. Okay, okay, when you put it that way... Honestly, this sounds way too fun to say no to. Sure, I know this sounds insane. But we got this right. We could beat him at his own game and think about the cause. We could pull this off And this could be our final chance So do it for the game Do it for the game No, we're not above the law This plan hasn't got a flaw Do it for the game it for the game Not much time left here to lose Why 
What the hell I can't refuse if we're doing it for the game. 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 Scene eight. The quad. Sunset. Al sits alone, strumming a ukulele. Hello. Sorry, I'm just waiting for the group to show up. I know I'm kind of quiet. Friday night. Prom night. Uh, I kind of thought I got away from high school stuff when I graduated high school, but uh, here we are. Going to prom. And it sucks. I hated high school. And at my prom, some not great stuff happened, and... I mean, nothing horrible happened, I guess, but it still feels... Sorry. I'm probably boring you. It's like... in me, you know? That that sounded weird. I mean, like, the shitty experiences I had, they're just... Sticky. That also sounded weird. (laughs) It's just stuff like that stays. It stays in your mind and just sort of settles in your body. And no matter what you do, you know, it's like I go to therapy and I eat vegetables and I drink water and I do everything I'm supposed to do to try and clean it out. But it's always there sucks. But I have to go to prom for my friends, for the game. It's our mission. It's... I'm just gonna start singing. So we're on an adventure. It's all fun and games. We're breaking into a high school. Totally tame I shouldn't be shaking It's just a blast from the past Those days are over And pain doesn't last I put my feet on the ground I walk away from the town They ask why I'm looking down just tired I put my feet on the ground I walk away from the town They ask why I'm looking down Well, I'm just tired Yeah, I'm tired But I'm okay Lee centers Saw, dude Yeah! Where the frick did you come from? The shadows. So you're not feeling super hyped about prom? I just hated high school. Prom especially. And going to prom now is kind of stirring stuff up. Oh. Well, to be fair, who could be emotionally stable in that outfit? What's wrong with my outfit? Al, this is prom, not your second cousin's bat mitzvah. Oddly specific? (laughs) Or you look like you're trying to impress your married co-worker at an office party. Like, you don't want to be a home wrecker, but you're kind of down to fuck? Like, that's what I'm getting from this. Also oddly specific. Come on, this is your chance to reclaim your high school days. So it sucked, lots of things suck. That's why you party, dress up, have fun, forget about it. I can't just forget about it. <laughs> Give me the uke. You play? I'm an art major at a liberal arts college. Give me the uke. So you're having a tough time. Mild PTSD And I know it's exhausting But repeat after me I am a champion I am a champion I grew from the pain I grew from the pain And though I'm still hurting I'm going to change I'm going to change You're going to change I'm going to Wait, what? Seriously, go change. Your outfit sucks. Oh, like, change, change. Yeah, okay. I'll run to my dorm. 
That's right. Just put those feet on the ground. Go see what there's to be found. You can look lovely and loud, even though you're tired. Just put those feet on the ground. Go see what there's to be found. You better make daddy proud, even though you're tired. You're so tired, but you are. Ow! Oh my God! What is that? Is it bad? No, no. You look amazing. I just, wow! I really wasn't expecting you to look so good, at all. Thanks. You're welcome. You ready to take back the night? Um, I don't know. I still kind of feel like shit, but I think I'll be okay. Ah, that's the spirit. Come on, feeling like shit and doing stuff is the first step to doing stuff and feeling okay. Hey, why do you think I dress so flashily? Because all colors clash with your aesthetic? Yes, but more importantly, it boosts my confidence. Who wears all black gothic attire every single day without fear of judgment? Only the most confident people in the world could pull that off, right? Yeah, I guess. But I'm not that confident. I'm terrified of judgment. Someone said that my face was asymmetrical the other day and I cried for like an hour. But then I look in the mirror and I see someone who is decked out in the wildest attire purely for their own enjoyment. And I think, yeah, I could be that. And it only gets better every time that you try. Well, I do like this outfit. And I like you by my side. Aw, shucks. We'll put our feet on the ground. We'll try and... Stop looking down, we'll make a smile from a frown, even though we're tired. We'll put our feet on the ground, we'll try and stop looking down, we'll make a smile from a frown, even though we're tired. We're so tired, but we look great. Avery and Gail enter. Yay! Quirky uke song. Shut up, Avery. You wouldn't understand. Are we all set to go? Yep, the car's double parked, so uh, we gotta move. You look really nice, Elle. Thanks. You look nice, too. Not that, not that you don't usually look nice. Like, it's just... It's a good outfit. Shall we? We shall. Gail takes Al's arm. The group exits. Scene 9. The group arrives at the high school. Avery, you do realize people can use fake photos on their dating profiles? For all we know, you've made the ugliest kid in school think you want to take his virginity. Lace. Ew. I didn't make him think anything, Lace. I only said I'd meet him at prom. Do you know what kids do at prom? Saying you'll meet them at prom leads to certain expectations, and letting them down is how we get incels. Whoa, that's not how anything works. We're not gonna turn him into an incel, Lace. Okay, but in all seriousness, how are we tracking this kid down? Are you 100% sure we've got the right person? Let's not overthink things now. Let's just follow the plan and hope the developer will listen to the reason. L, you got the screwdriver? Got it. The bathroom is just around that corner. We'll keep watch over here. Remember the signal. Let's do this. Call, call! This is it, guys. We're in. Scene 10. Prom! The kids are dancing, talking, drinking cups of punch. The group enters. Wow. I wish my high school had had a budget. Can we just find the developer and get the hell out of here before we get caught? Al? I can assure you and your little baby face that you blend in just fine. You don't know that, and I really don't like being here. I'm getting war flashbacks. What? I thought Lace cheered you up about all that. Not really how trauma works, my dude. Ah, come on. Your prom couldn't have been that bad. No, it was definitely that bad. Well, we have to be here for a while anyway. Make the most of it. Maybe somebody spiked the punch. Lace takes a sip of punch. Mm, negative. I'm on it. I didn't get to go to my high school prom. Feels kind of surreal being at one now. See? Gail's never been to prom. We've got to have a little fun. Or at least try to blend in. Yeah, y'all stick out like sore ducks standing here. 
Come on, Gail, let's bust a crump or something. Okay. Lace pulls Gail to the dance floor. Avery starts after them, then turns back to Al. No, you go. I'll keep an eye out from here. Hey, I'm not just gonna leave you behind. Take my hand. Al takes Avery's hand, and they dance. I don't know if this is helping. Did you really hate everything about high school? Not everything, I guess. But the bad outweighed the good. For me, high school was like a rush. Me and my friends would get up to all sorts of shit. We were like rulers of the world. That's cool. We were dumb teens. They eventually stopped hanging out with me, but yeah, they outweighed the bad for a while. I guess I never got that close with my high school friends. Well, then you have no idea how lucky you are. Tell your story, but it's sad that it break my heart. Turn the record back again, take it from the start. Play it over in your head and let it all fade out. It's over now, whoa. Not too many years ago, I was in their place. Felt so high into the sky, into outer just imagine how it feels It couldn't all be bad I want it back Being here is such a strange sensation I feel like I've been in hibernation Waiting to get that feeling back That they can't seem to shake Man, I wish I hadn't peaked in high school Sure, my head's still in the clouds But the sky is falling down It's coming for us now And you know it's going down tonight I don't think I understand Oh, you never do Take the focus off of me Bring it back to you Give yourself another chance Come on, let's hit the floor But I'm not sure Don't you think it's time to face the music? Seize the moment now or we might lose Wake up and have a little faith I'll show you what it's worth Avery, look, the developer Riley dances nearby, surrounded by peers Oh my god, this is really happening Go get him, tiger Avery approaches <sighs> Riley Hi there Avery, you came! I didn't think you'd make it Well, here I am It's so nice to meet you in person Hey Riley, they're about to announce prom king and queen Oh, I, I gotta go, but find me on the dance floor later, okay? Riley blows a kiss. Avery catches it. Riley runs off. Avery shakes the kiss out of her hand and looks around nervously. An announcer takes the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time to announce the winner of this year's crown. Our prom king of the class of 2020 is... Riley Parks! <laughs> Thank you all, my fellow teens, how fast these years have gone. Here we are, our final days we've waited for so long. Looking out at all of you, my heart could fly away. And now that I've been crowned your king, I've just one thing to say. Man, I wish I hadn't peaked in high school I'm just gonna call it now, it's the best I'll ever get Can't believe that I just peaked that high But the night's as young as me, yeah, it's not quite over yet Friends, friends, I am so honored you've elected me as your king Many of you know me as the developer of a four-player team-based online game Although it's actually more popular with a younger crowd Most of you high schoolers can beat it in like five minutes Oh, come on! They're all fucking gamer nerds. Recently, I've been thinking a lot about where I want to go in life, what I want to do, what my real passions are, and though I was accepted to MIT, I realized over time, that's not where I'm meant to be. So instead, I've enrolled at Oberlin College, where I plan to be an English major. What? Wait, Riley, you can't quit game design. That game was everything. Y you have to bring it back. What are you saying? I need to pursue what makes me happy. Screw your happiness. Think about what makes us happy or what makes the world happy. You don't want to throw all your hard work away, do you? Oh my god. You only matched with me so I bring back the game? 
No, no. I excuse me. Do you go to this school? Uh, yeah, of course. Why? What? Where else would I go to school? Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Yeah. Let me just go get it from my bag. I think I left it over there. Avery runs away. She knocks the table over to block the teachers from chasing her. Guys, code red. We've been spotted. Lace appears behind the DJ booth. Let's turn it up. A chase ensues. Avery meets up with Gail and Al. You guys run to the bathroom. I'll grab Lace and bring the car around. Go, run. Avery, wait. Is it true? Did you only track me down so I'd bring the game back? No. Look, Riley, you beautiful, underage human. I don't have time to explain. The chaperones are after me, and I've got to get behind the DJ booth to grab my friend and get us out of here. Please, please don't wrap me out. Fine. Come with me. I'll get you back there. And by the way, I'm 18. Scene 11. Gail and Al run into the bathroom and lock the door. This got way out of hand. Oh my god, yeah, I'm breathing so hard. Yeah. Hey, we're good. The door's locked. We're good. You know, as crazy as this is, part of me feels like it's kind of awesome. Like it's my first ever prom night and I'm part of a high speed chase. Ha, <laughs> true, true. So, why didn't you go to prom in high school? My mom made me graduate one semester earlier and、um, I sort of lost touch with my friends, so I thought it would be weird to go. Oh. That sucks, I guess. I mean, prom sucks too in its own ways. Yeah, so what happened at your prom? If you don't mind me asking? I, uh. I got cheated on. Oh shit. Yeah. And I got very little sympathy too, so. Pretty much sucked. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess. It's. Just kind of. Just wanting to get myself out of here. Like, I can't stop blaming myself for everything. Like, I thought it was so cool that my ex was always so mean to me, and like, we dated for over a year. <laughs> I was so stupid. It's not your fault, Elle.、No? Yeah. Well, it messed me up, and I'm so scared to date people now, even though, you know, I want to. Oh, I mean, me too. I, I've liked people before, but I haven't really been in the right place to date before. Which is crazy, cause I'm 22 and I've really liked people a lot. I just no. Yeah, I get that. Um, I, I like you. Sorry. Wait, I. This is. Not a good time. Say? It doesn't matter. Wait, no. I mean, I think I feel similarly. I don't know if I heard you right, though. I don't know either. I just realized if Lace and Avery get caught, we're gonna be stuck in here for a while. Yeah. I feel weird now. Me too. Al moves her face closer to Gail's. Gail looks down. I just didn't imagine, like, being here with you, and you saying what I think you said, and um, I want to say things to you. I, I feel the same way. Okay, okay, I'm like ninety percent sure we're on the same page, but there's like that margin of error there because I don't know if I just heard what I wanted to hear. Or、How about I just? I'll gently cup Scale's face and moves closer. Is this okay? Yeah, I think. Right, you're good with it. Okay, like don't overthink it. If I kiss you, is that okay? Yeah. Al kisses Gale. Gale falters. Wait, what? What is happening? I think it's prom night, and I'm kissing the hottest kid in school. Gale hesitates. Then wraps their arms around Al and pulls her in for a kiss. Scene twelve. The chase continues. Lace and Avery weave and dance their way through high schoolers and teachers. And I
wish I hadn't peaked in high school Sure my hat's still in the clouds But the sky is falling down Thank your God you didn't peak that high Cause it's coming for us now And you know it's going down Scene 13 Avery knocks on the bathroom window Gail! Ow! Come on, we've got the car running, let's go! Gail and Al break out of a kiss and look sheepishly at Avery. You're joking. We can explain. No time to explain. Come on, we've gotta go. Avery, please don't tell Lace. Fine, just move. Scene 14. The group runs away from the building, pursued by teachers and high schoolers. Oh, man, I wish I hadn't peaked in high school. Sure, my head's still in the clouds, but the sky is falling down. Thank your God you didn't peak that high, cause it's coming for us now. And you know it's going, no, it's going, no, it's going, no, it's going down tonight. They hop into the car and drive off into the night. They sit in a tense, awkward silence. Uh, so, who wants Duncan? End of Act One. Act two, scene one, Duncan. The group sits at a table, tense, exhausted. Lace sips a cup of coffee. I think that went pretty well. I mean, we didn't totally convince them to bring the game back, but we planted the seed. (laughs) Who knew a game design nerd would ever be elected prom king, right? Is anyone going to say anything? Hello? Then I'm going back on my bullshit. Sorry, kids. Hey, team. I'm feeling like something is off here. I think that they're closing up shop here. So what the heck is going on? I'm catching vibes. They're telling me something just happened. And I don't think that I'm speaking Latin. So I'd kind of like a response. We could just talk about our adventure. No, some things off, don't mean to put pressure, but I need the tea. I'm practically on my knees. You've all got a secret you're keeping from me, and I don't like it. No, I don't like it. So spill, I'll cause a scene, I will. You bet your ass I won't shut up till- Stop! Okay, it's me! I met out with the developer. What? When he was sneaking me over the DJ booth, we had to hide under a table while some teachers walked by, and he kept moving in for the kiss, so I just... No freaking way. I thought it would help with the mission. You dirty, cradle-robbing son of a bitch. It's not... He's 18. He's 17. It says so on his LinkedIn profile. Oh my god. He told me he's 18. That's what they all say. Then they turn around and get you pregnant, their parents call their friends and the mafia, and you're sleeping with the fishes. Can't sleep with underage kids if you're sleeping with the fishes, Avery. Yeah, don't cheat on the fishes. They'll cut your dick off. Treat those fishes right, Avery. Okay, I'm not even going to try, but... Lace, I swear, if you hold this over my head, I will waste you. Fine, fine. How about, mm, I give you a 24-hour grace period before teasing you relentlessly for the rest of your life? Fuck off. Kidding, kidding. But in all honesty, I really need to know. Did you use tongue? Nope, I'm out. Wait, wait, like, who put their tongue in first? What does Gen Z taste like? Scene two. The quad. Avery and Gail enter. I can't believe I covered for you like that. Lace already changed my name in the group to Vladimir Nobokov. I didn't ask you to tell us about your pedo sesh, Avery. Well, I had to say something. Lace was freaking out, trying to figure out why we were acting weird. I know, and I hate to keep Lace in the dark, but I don't think I'm ready to tell them yet. Elle hasn't even talked to me since it happened, and I don't know what she's thinking, and I'm freaking out. Have you reached out to Elle? No. Are you going to? I wasn't planning on it. You just said you're freaking out. You need to talk. You're going to drive yourself crazy if you wait. 
But I can't be thinking about this right now. We have less than two weeks till finals, and I can't yeah, just- Yeah, dude. You barely have any time left to figure out the deal with Al, too. You can't spend your last college days just working on your theses. Of course I can. That's what college is for. I'll talk to them after the finals are over. We'll have a whole week before graduation. A week is not enough time. Avery, it's fine. I'll, I'll figure something out. It's fine. It's not fine. You need to talk to her. Stop pretending that school is more important than this. School is more important than this. Why is it wrong to care about school? Because you don't really care about school. You care about pleasing your mom. I mean, not to go all Freud on your ass, but we all know that's true. I don't know... And you care about Al. You're just scared. No, that's the thing, Avery. I don't know if I actually like her. I've never... I don't know if I know what it feels like to... to like someone. Oh, well... Let's start there. Do you think about her a lot? I think about everything all at once, constantly. Okay, um, might want to medicate for that, but anyway. Do you get nervous around her? Or excited? Yeah, but I don't know if it's the right kind of nervous, you know? I just... I don't know, Avery, help! Okay, okay, uh, let me think. Can I try something new? A quick little test. I mean, sure, I guess. Good, cause I see that you're stressed. So just close your eyes and fantasize. Pretend she's right in front of you. Got it? Sure. <sighs> okay, good enough. Now I'll we'll move in close and your nose to nose. Okay, wow. Yeah, dude, I know. Keep eyes closed, and now just tell me what you're feeling. Ah, uh, I don't know! Relax, girl, you're in control. I mean, I guess I'm feeling something? Okay, that's great. You don't have to know exactly how to describe it. Just start spitballing. Okay, well, I feel kind of warm and nauseous. Good. I feel like I might shim myself. Graphic, I'm into it. I just said a thought, but I lost it. Like her smells making my brain swell Dude, that's so cute! What the hell? But that doesn't mean anything! This isn't the first time someone's made me feel like I'm gonna shit myself! But it means she makes you excited! And nervous, sure, but that's a pretty big sign you like her. I don't know! I might just be a nervous person! Well, there's a second part to my test. Do you want to keep going? Sure, whatever. Then close them again and clear out your mind. All right, got her, fine. Good, now just count down from five and get comfortable. Stay very still. Open up in three, two, one. Avery leans in close to Yale, almost nose to nose. Kale opens their eyes and recoils. Oh, Jesus, you scared me. Anything else? What? How did that feel compared to your fantasy? Terrifying and unwarranted? Come on, work with me. Just try to touch base with your feelings. It's trial and dare, no need to be scared. I'm trying to see how you feel next to me and compare. Okay, I'm gonna draw the line here. Maybe scoot back. All right, girl, you're in control. I don't see how this is going to help me figure anything out. It's a control experiment. You said you don't know if you like her. This is how we can figure it out. Spitball again. Tell me how it felt. It felt really weird and invasive. Cool. I smell some pad thai on your breath. Shit, really? It felt out of place, made me tense up. And recoil like I'm scared half to death. Okay. Ouch. <laughs> so that's definitely different than how you felt with Al. Yeah, I don't mean to be rude or anything. No, this this is great, Gail. Think about what this means. You like Al. Just because I don't like you? You do like me. I, I mean, okay, I get what you mean. But think about how you'd feel if someone else got romancy with you. Like Lace, Professor Clancy. Uh, you know. <laughs> See? So what does it say about your feelings for Al? I don't think this experiment makes sense. You feel warm around her. You get butterflies. 
Come on, Gail, you're killing me. It doesn't matter how I feel, Avery. I'm not going to date her. Even though, yes, I want to. I can't right now. If not now, when, Gail? What's up? What's really stopping you? It can't just be school. Well, I feel kind of scared when I'm with her. My mind just flies off where who knows. I've never been this close to someone. And I don't feel like I'm in control. And I've got to be in control. But you really don't. Al's a good catch. You just gotta feel how you feel. Gil, just undo the latch. Time to set yourself free now. Avery, you can't hold back what you feel now. Come on, talk to her at least. Please. I know there are things that I can fix. I know I can't always control. If I follow my heart just this once, just try it, just so you know. I guess I can text her at least. Really? I'm not going to ask her out, and I'm still going to prioritize school, but I know I should. Ah! Hey, I'm still talking. It's gonna be great, your very first date. You're gonna make out and make out and like bang. Can't wait. It's, it's a start, start and it's exciting. exciting. Wish I had a better timing. But some things you just can't control. Don't wait till it's too late to know. Relax, Gail. Breathe out, Gail. I'm kind of in control. Scene three, Avery's room. Avery opens her laptop. Yo, wanna grab dinner later? Me and Gail are going out tonight. Tomorrow though. Gross, don't get pregnant. <laughs> Aw, sweet. Gail and Al, falling in love. I'm happy for them, really. It's just, there's this itty bitty part of me that kind of sort of wishes it weren't happening. <laughs> like I, part of me wishes like it they didn't like each other and weren't dating and things could just go back to normal and we could forget any of this ever happened. <coughs> Which is terrible of me, but it's just how I feel. I don't even get why, really. Like, maybe I've been subconsciously in love with Gail or Al this whole time? Probably not. Maybe I'm bummed that neither of them are in love with me because I'm a piece of shit and need to think everyone's in love with me to cope with my perpetual self-loathing. <laughs> Damn, I should be my own therapist. Bethilda, baby, did you get that last bit? Does Gail and Al's romance serve as a reminder that the nature of your relationships are changing? Yes. Have you been listening? I'm like five levels deeper than that right now. It's common to be anxious when friends enter new relationships. They may spend more time with their partners and less time with you, which can feel like rejection. That's it. No silver lining. I'm just being rejected by most of my friends. Perhaps you could speak with Lace to see if they're feeling similarly. Things have been weird with Lace, too. Al and Gail still want to keep their relationship a secret, so every time I see Lace, I have to pretend I don't know anything, even though it's super obvious something's going on with them. And God, everything started being weird the second the game shut down, and we did literally all we could do to fix it, and it still wasn't enough. I keep reloading the page to see if something miraculously changes, but it's always the same stupid. There are deeper reasons why your friendship is so dependent on the game. Holy shit. Avery? Holy shit. Avery, you cannot run. I, I gotta call Lace. We're not done with our session. Sh shut up, Bethilda. This is important. You cannot shoot your problems away. God damn it. Shh. Come on, please pick up. You right? Oh my god. Guys, we did it! You ready? Set. Let's rock and roll. Oh, it's game, game on. on. Back to the battle. Game, game on. on. Broke through the shackles. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, you got it back? You bet your ass we did. Headphones, headphones, for crying.
Christ's sake. Love you too. Whoa. That was quick. We meet again, old friend. Everyone ready? Set. Whatever, man. It's game on. I'm feeling no stress. Game, game on. on. No time to be cautious. Yeah. Fast. Well, we've been gaming for almost two years now. Didn't feel that quick to me. The golden cup. It's yours, Lace. Friends, Romans, countrymen. This is the moment of truth. The actual moment, the last was a flu. We've worked and we've waited in endless pursuit. That's it? That's it? I risk becoming a sex offender for that. Well, what did you expect? A million dollars? It's not that bad. I mean, we won, right? Like, we did it. Yeah, we did it. We did a lot. Like, way more than anyone should ever do for a video game. Hey, it wasn't just a video game. This was important to us, wasn't it? The developer said that this game is too easy for high schoolers. I'm kind of with Lace here. We went so far for practically nothing. And this, this is the icing on the cake. What do you mean practically nothing? Why would you even play the game if it meant practically nothing to you? Well, I didn't mean nothing, nothing, but it is a game. Like... Gail, this game is like the reason we are friends. This game is the reason you and Al are dating. Why are you trying to act like it's not important all of a sudden? Um, did you say Gail and Al are dating? I... What? Seriously? Did she log off? What, what the hell? I'm getting the sense this wasn't something I was supposed to know about. I mean, yeah, but it wasn't that big a deal. Why would they... So, did I do something? Is there a reason I was left out of the loop? I don't know, or... Lace. Can we just talk tomorrow? I need to get some work done. Okay. See you tomorrow. Damn it. Scene four. Gail and Al enter. Why would Avery do that? I think it was an accident. But I told her. Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm just so mad. Why would she be that stupid? I mean, I don't really get why we were keeping things from Lace in the first place. I mean, they're one of our closest friends. Shouldn't that we? That doesn't matter. Avery completely disrespected us, and she still hasn't apologized. Gail, I know. But what do we have to hide, especially from Lace? It's not about Lace. The more people know, the more real it becomes. And I'm not ready for that. But if things aren't real, then what are they? I don't know. Al exits. Gail receives a letter and opens it. They tear it up, distraught, and exit. Al re-enters and makes a phone call. Hey, Gail. It's me. Um, you haven't replied to any of my texts over the last two days, so I just wanted to call and make sure you didn't die. I'm just... I know things got weird with Lace and Avery, but... You know, we went from hanging out every day to ghosting me out of nowhere, so, like, can we talk? Please? Bye. Al hangs up and exits. Gail enters and makes a phone call. Hey, sorry I haven't gotten back to you. I, am. Um, I got rejected from Harvard. Yeah. So, um, everything is terrible. And, wow, I hate to do this over voicemail, but I can't date you anymore. Which sucks, but clearly I need to figure some stuff out, and you shouldn't be held back. <laughs> and you shouldn't be held back by that. By me. So, I'm sorry. I'll see you at graduation. Bye. Gail exits. Avery sits in her room. Y'all want a game today? It's almost six. I'm not really feeling it today, sorry. 
Whoa, what? Why did Gail leave? Gail didn't get into Harvard. And? And they don't have a backup, and they're really upset. Why would they leave the chat, though? Probably because you guys are in sensitive sacks of... I don't know. We broke up. What? Sad. I think I'm done with the game, too. See you around. What is happening? (sighs) All right, dickheads. Clearly there's some shit going on and we're going to face it like adults, whether you like it or not. My room, 11 o'clock, emergency meeting. Just freaking come. Scene five. Avery's room. Lacey and Avery sit as Avery anxiously watches the door. Where are they? (laughs) I'm surprised you thought they'd show up. We can't just avoid each other. Tomorrow's the last day of finals, and then there's a week left. Like, I get that Gail's feeling like shit, but, like, that's why we're here. That's what friends are for, to help you get through shit like this. I don't think they want our help. But they're not stupid. I mean, you can't isolate yourself and dump your partner and think, oh yeah, this will help me feel better. They just need space. No, they don't. They're self-sabotaging. They're destroying their life because they didn't get into a college. How do you let yourself get so attached to something so superficial? (laughs) What? What? You laughed. It doesn't matter. Jeez. Okay. Are you going to act like a dick too? Excuse me? Look, I don't get why Gail didn't want to tell you about them and Al, and I get that it's annoying to be left out, but the passive aggressiveness has got to stop. Okay, sorry. Are you? Yeah. Guess it doesn't matter now. They're broken up anyway. God, it kills me that they liked each other for so long, and they just gave up, like, the second things got hard. Like, how can you expect to be a lawyer when you don't even have the courage to- Okay, can you just stop? It's just, I don't care. Wow. Okay. Sorry. No, it's, I mean, do you just want to leave? It's not like they're going to show up anyway. Um, I don't know if I should leave you like this. Like what? You're just really riled up. I'm, I'm, I'm upset. Is that so wrong? Everyone's abandoning me, like, the game, the group. It's, like, everything's falling apart for no reason. Maybe there is a reason. Maybe there's a lot of reasons. All right, name one then. Go on. Um, for one, maybe a certain gamer is kind of hurt that they were left out of something important. And they're kind of generally treated like shit. Lace, I said, I don't know why they wanted to leave you out. I thought it was stupid. But but... it's not just that, Avery. There have been a lot of times where I felt excluded. Like when? Like a lot. You judge me a lot and you make fun of me. And it always feels like there's this inner circle of just you, Al, and Gail that I'm left out of. Because you think I'm weird or something. And therefore I can't connect with you at a deeper level. But like, that's not fair. You are weird. That's your thing. You've always been weird. This doesn't mean I'm not a person with feelings. That doesn't mean I want to be excluded from, like, normal people things or whatever you want to call it. We haven't excluded you. Lace, we love your weirdness. No, you don't. (laughs) You get mad at me for overdressing all the time, and you never even ask why I do it. You just judge and judge. That is not fair. I've gotten so much better about that. You still do not treat me the same way you treat me. Gail and Al, I'm so fucking tired of pretending that I'm okay with this. I don't want to be friends anymore. Lise, I... I'm sorry, I... No, just... Just forget it. This is why I didn't want to talk. Maybe you're right. Maybe you treat me just fine. Maybe I'm fucking crazy. I don't know. Hey, don't... Don't leave. I don't want to talk anymore. I'm sorry. I'm done. Come on, you can't just run away. Talk to me. Lace, you can't- Avery! How do I even- It's not my job to make you feel better about this. I'm leaving. Okay. Lace exits. Avery gets a text. Party at Kappa tonight! 
Open bar. <laughs> yeah, I could use that right about now. Scene six, the party. Gail wanders around aimlessly holding a red solo cup. Turn off the lights, turn the speakers out loud. High as a guy, gonna make my mama proud. Feeling alright, yeah, I'm holding on for now. I'm fine. It's fine. Hey, what's your name? Another drink if you don't mind. It always the same, my heart's beating out of time. I can be lame, I self medicate with wine. It's fine. I'm fine. is falling apart but I don't feel it everything is crumbling down and no one cares everything I wanted was wrong but it wasn't real it was never there it's not fair it's not fair Avery enters. Gail? Avery! Hey! I didn't know you'd be here. I didn't think you went to parties. Are you drinking? What? Oh, drinking, drank, drunk, dude. I'm very depressed. I gathered that. Do you, do you want to talk? Maybe go somewhere less loud? No, no, I'm good. I'm just gonna dance. You can do whatever. I'm gonna be on my own tonight. Okay. Uh, good luck being on your own at this massive party. Lace enters. Shit! Lace is here! Act natural! What? Gail strikes an odd pose. Lace notices and walks over to them. Hi. Hi. What are you up to, weirdo? What's in that cup? Lace grabs Gail's cup. Gail stumbles. Hey, stop! What the fuck is your problem? Whoa, sorry, I was just curious. Lace offers the cup back to Gail. No, I don't want it anymore. Fuck it. I'm leaving. I don't want to be around you people. Wait, Gail, uh, come on, can't we talk? Gail seems a little too drunk right now to consent to meaningful conversation. I'm not that drunk. I just don't want to be around you. I came here to be alone and you ruined it. What? Sorry, like I actually can't hear you over this music. Just leave me alone! Or Lace, you're fine, but Avery, can you just not be here? What? Why me? What did I do? You told Lace about Elle and me when I asked you not to! Why would you do that? Okay, it but was why an would accident, you... Gail. I tried to talk to you about this like ten times and you ghosted everyone. I was upset. And don't act like it was an accident. You love stirring up drama. I know Whoa, you Whoa, you do. better take a step back there, buddy. Okay, break it up. First of all, Gail, why did you want to keep all the Al stuff secret from me in the first place? Because Avery only found out by accident, and I thought she'd be able to keep her mouth shut. But evidently- Okay, pack up. If Avery already knew, why would it be bad for me to know too? Because it, it- Isn't it unfair that Avery gets to know, but not me? Lace, I'm sorry, okay? But you know you're not the best at, like, dealing with emotional stuff. Wow, okay. What the fuck makes you think that? Really? I mean, do I really need to explain that to you? Have you met you? Um, what? Hey, guys, uh, people are staring at us. I don't care. People stare at me all the time anyways. I'm so tired of being left out just because I stand out, and I'm tired of acting like I'm okay with it. Thought I was crazy cause I wanted my time I was so lazy, let a million things fly Your vision's hazy, you can't look me in the eyes And that's fine It's fine The little eyes, little glances and smirks Hey, feast your eyes, I'm a solo run surf Living my life, freaking live it out, you jerks, and it's fine. I'm fine. Cause everything is falling apart, but I don't feel it. Everything is crumbling down, and no one cares. Everything I wanted was wrong. Wasn't real, it was never there.
It's not fair. It's not fair. Lace exits. Well, that could have gone better. I should leave too. This night is ruined. Gail stumbles and falls. Ow! Hey, whoa, are you okay? I'm fine. Get away from me. Fuck. I should go find Lace. I should say I'm sorry. Gail, you need to go home. Or stay here. I'll get you some water. Avery! Why didn't I get into Harvard? What? Uh, I don't know. Everything's over. It's all over. My mom hates me. She won't say it, but she hates me. And Elle hates me because I ruined everything. Gail, look at me. Look at me. I'm still here. Everybody's still here. Nobody hates you. Lace hates me too. No, nobody hates you, Gail. <sighs> okay, um, I'm gonna get you that water. Elle enters. Oh, hello. Hi. Why is everyone at this party? Is this the only party on campus? God, fuck. Are you drunk, Gail? I don't know. Are you? Do you want to make out? Nope. Bad idea. Seconded. Oh, no. I think I need to throw up. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'll help you to the bathroom. No, I- I'll help them. No, El can help me. You, you can go. Please, go. Right. Cool. I'll just peace out off a cliff somewhere. Avery, what? I'm joking! Just go! Go have fun! Throw it up together! Clearly I'm a screw-up and a terrible friend. What? What did you say? Nothing! It's over, okay? It's fine. Like, us. The group. The game. It's over. Just go. We are. I don't think I need to throw up anymore. Then let's get you home. Yeah! Goodbye! Avery, stop! This isn't about you. You didn't hear what Gail said earlier. They're drunk. They're going through, like, the worst time of their life right now. Do you even care about that? I have done nothing but care. I reached out over and over, and you gave me nothing. So don't think that Stop I'm the one who doesn't- Stop it, want to talk. You can't get mad because people don't hurt in the way you want them to. I think you know that, but you'd rather be sly. Why not just go and hang your big head and cry? Leave us alone, cause we haven't got time. We're fine. It's fine. It's not fine. It's... Got bigger fish to fry, I'm moving on out. I'm done with lies, petty shit you're on about. For the first time, not a sprinkle of doubt. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to be petty. Whatever, I we're leaving. Al, please. First lace, now you. Dude, let it go. It's over. Can we go? Yeah. See you, Avery. Wait, guys, please. Al and Gail exit. Avery stares at the sea of people around her, dancing at a distance. Everything is falling apart, but I don't feel it. Everything is crumbling down, and no one cares. Everything I wanted was wrong, but it wasn't real. It was never there. It's not fair. Scene 7. Al's room. Gail sleeps in Al's bed. Al sleeps in a sleeping bag nearby. Gail wakes up with a start. Ah! Uh, ow! Ow! Hey, you good? My head! My head! Ow! Yeah, you had a pretty rough night. <sighs> what the heck? Why does it hurt so bad? That's what a hangover's like. I mean, I knew it might make my head hurt, but I didn't think it'd be this bad. Ow. Here, lie back down. I'll get you some water. No, Drews. What? 
I want juice. Okay, okay. I'll see if I have juice. Wait, Al? Yeah. I'm sorry. I broke up with you over voicemail. It's okay. No, it's not. Let me get that juice. I love grape juice. Me too. I feel like it's so underrated. Yes, right. Like I need more grape juice in my life. Like so much grape juice. <laughs> so should we talk about stuff or? What do you want to talk about? Um, like, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life, and um. I still like you, a lot, and I want to kiss you.、Mm. Your breath is probably really bad. Okay, yeah, I didn't mean like right now. I like you too. And if you want to try dating again, like, I'm here. I understand why you dumped me over voicemail. I feel so bad. It's okay. I know you were going through a lot. But like, I still am though. I'm kind of perpetually going through it, and I don't want you to have to go through that too. You know, if I freak out again and dump you over voicemail, I don't want to hurt you. I can take it. No. Seriously, just like be honest with me. Like, if you want to prioritize your career and school and stuff, that's fine. But I need to know what you want. I don't know what I want. Well, then maybe you need to figure that out first. But I want to date you now. Well, then you do know what you want. I don't know. Hey, hey, look at me. I don't know what to do anymore. Just put your feet on the ground. Try to stop looking down. Take a good look around, even though you're tired, and though you. Don't know right now. There's so much left to be found. Your story's barely unwound. You're already tired. Wait, what about Lace and Avery? I don't know. Wait, no. We're supposed to know things now. I just, I don't know if I want to. Keep trying to be friends with them when they have just gotten more and more difficult. I just want to be with you. Oh, but I feel so bad. I mean, you don't have to feel the same way. But I do. Like I love them, but I'm tired. Me too. And I think you're amazing. Just the way that you are. I don't care if you're perfect. Just don't play with my heart. I'll try. You put your feet on the ground. Try to stop looking down. Take a good look around, even though you're tired. And though you don't know right now, there's so much left to be found. Our story. We're so tired. 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 But we're okay. Scene eight, Avery's room. Avery sits at her laptop. Hey, you around a game tonight? Hey, sorry, Elle and I are having a date night. Maybe tomorrow. Lace, you around? You can't ignore us forever. Watch me. No, what am I doing? Okay, so graduation is three days away now. None of my friends are talking to me. I couldn't get a job anywhere. My parents want me out of their house by July all of a sudden, and things suck. Things suck. And that sucks, you know. Like, 
we worked so hard to bring back the game and it's back and things still suck. Everyone's blowing me off. Nobody wants to work through the issues. I mean, what the fuck? The game didn't fix your friendship. There wasn't anything to fix until it went away. That's what doesn't make sense. Perhaps there were things going on under the surface. There weren't. Things were fine. I mean, even when life got hard or things got weird, we'd just play the game. And it was like, none of that mattered. So why should it matter now? Nothing's changed. We have the game. What is everybody's problem? Reality was bound to reach you eventually. You can't run forever. Jesus Christ, B, I'm not running from anything. I'm the one trying to fix things. I'm the only one trying to pull the fucking group back together. God, why am I even listening to you? You're a computer program. You don't know anything. My creators take pride in the therapeutic algorithm used to assess your mental health. You asked me to help you with anxiety, anger, and depression. I'd like to keep helping you. Oh my god, I don't need your help! I don't need any of this! Just leave me alone! Avery slams her laptop closed with her fist. Shit! Shit! No. No, please, don't... Don't do this, you fucking asshole! So that's it then. We won the game and said some things and realized on the way that maybe we were never friends. So this is how it ends. It's not fair. I'm blowing things way out of scope. It's not a healthy way to cope, but I just really cared. So was it love we shared? Or were you just playing me? Was I playing you? Is that what we do? Was I freaking delusional thinking that I had a place here? I'm not just a tool, but it only makes sense to get used if you use. What do you do when you know you're worthless? I know so much that I've lost all purpose. Something is broken. I can't feel the a glitch in the system so I should shut down Is it you I miss? Or was it just the games we played? The rhythm of the everyday The blinded bliss Friends don't make friends this pissed So will you just answer me? I wanna be fixed You put me together and broke me so quick was I just a wrong on a ladder so tall? When you get to the top, oh, I hope that you fall. Obsession is beating me black and blue. I cared so much that I never saw you. It's all in my head, so I won't make a sound. There's a glitch in the system, so I should shut down. Avery throws her laptop against a wall. She knocks things over, makes a mess. Avery? Avery, open up. What's going on in there? Is I just a wrong on a ladder so tall? When you get to the top, oh, I hope that you fall. Avery grabs various objects and throws them against her wall. She picks up the bottle of Zyrtec and stares at it longingly. Avery! But it's all in my head, so I won't make a sound. There's a glitch in the system. Hey, hey, stop, whoa, 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 stop, hey, get Avery, out, Avery, get out of here. Deep breath for me, buddy. No, get out, please. I don't want you here. I had to come in. I'm sorry. I heard shouting. I heard things breaking. I needed to make sure you were safe. Well, I'm safe, okay? I'm fine. I just, I had a really fucked up day and I, I want to be alone. Can you hey, just... what's in your hand? Avery, open your hand. Oh my God. Avery, if you don't give me those pills, I'll have to call campus police. <laughs> <laughs> okay, haha, so funny, great. Now, seriously, give me the pills. Dude, give me the pills. It's Zyrtec. It's allergy meds. If I OD'd on these, I'd either throw up immediately or, like, my immune system would be super buff. <laughs>
I don't get why that's funny. <laughs> because it's stupid. I'm like so fine. Like literally the only thing that happened was my friends wouldn't hang out with me and now I'm like <laughs> Wow. What the fuck is wrong with me? Nothing's wrong with you. You don't need a good reason to be upset. Yeah, well, you'd think I'd at least make one up before smashing my computer. <laughs> Fuck. Like, something a little more deep than, oh no, my friends hate me. <laughs> wow, I am a genuine piece of shit. What am I even saying? What, what am I even doing? Hey, just take a breath for a second. No, I, I'm not okay. I, I'm not okay. I need to be in, like, a, a, a freaking institution. I can't deal with this anymore. With me. Do you want me to get someone to bring you to the hospital? No, that, that's stupid. I don't... I can't... Hey, breathe. <laughs> Seriously, just breathe. Do you want to tell me what happened? I don't know if it matters. It's something with your friends, right? Hmm. Friends is a loose term. I'm sorry to hear that. No, don't. You don't have to feel bad for me. Okay, I'll stop. I mean, you can, if you want. <laughs> okay, um, I just texted health services for emergency counseling, so they should be here soon. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Avery, you can't keep hurting yourself. Ha, try and stop me. I'll show you. Avery dramatically <laughs> fake punches herself yeah. in the face. You know, I felt like the asshole in friendships before. I know how much that sucks. No, I thought it was special. Don't take that away from me. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? I'm just waiting for the meteor to hit me. I'm just waiting for someone to cut me loose. I keep praying that somebody's gonna fix me. I'm so broken. What's the use? And I'm not trying to say that I deserve fixing and I'm such a sorry case that no one ever listens cause they do or they tried but something was missing am I out of my mind? The room will stop spinning I know that I'm bleeding Who's holding the knife? Does it matter? I'm done I'm out of lives I don't think you're crazy. I don't think you're broken. I think you're sad and you're missing your friends and you're coping. Why do I make such a big deal out of everything? Why can't I be chill and uh, because life is not chill or cool, and pretty much every laid-back person I know is either faking it, or on drugs, or both. So, why am I even trying? If life's just gonna be loud and awful, like, why bother? Because there's good shit, too. And good shit is good. Man, yeah. I'm getting that tattooed on my forehead. Good shit is good. <laughs> you should. And you should keep living and not kill yourself, because I think you're pretty cool. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. Even though I'm loud and the residents hate me? Yeah, because there's good shit about you too. And good shit is good? Good shit is good. <laughs> Thank you. Health services! Scene 9. Graduation day. Lace leans against a wall, looking at their phone. Gail and Al approach cautiously. Hey, Lace! Hey, Ligma! What's Ligma? <sighs> Boy. It's not even worth it. How are you? Good. Um, we wanted to say we're sorry for not keeping you in the loop when we started dating. And I'm sorry for being so rude to you at the party. You don't deserve to be treated the way we've treated you, and hey, I- Hey, 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 Okay. It's okay. I know, it's graduation day. I just want to put it behind me. So, I forgive you, and I- 
Lace? I love you guys. Lace, we love you too. Gail rushes into hug Lace. No, do not touch me. I need a moment. Lace dramatically wipes the tear from their eye, takes a deep breath, and turns to Gail. Okay, we may hug now. Hey, we're going to be living in Boston, so if you ever need to come up from FIT, I might need more fashion advice. Oh, you most definitely will, my dear. Avery enters. Hey. Avery, hey! Where have you been? We haven't heard from you in like three days. I took a brief soul vacation. I needed some time away from things. Sorry I didn't tell anyone. It's fine. Is everything all right? No, but don't worry about it. Um... I'm sorry. No, no. We're not doing any of that shit. But I am. No, it's fine. We decided it doesn't matter. We love each other. Everything is good again. What? Okay, what the fuck did I miss? How long have you been standing here? Oh yeah, graduation's over, Avery. Sorry you missed it. What? Dude, I'm messing with you. Are you stupid? You looked so convinced. I... I wasn't ready. Avery... Was your soul vacation, like, is soul vacation just a crazy strong weed strain? (laughs) Stop! (laughs) Yeah, Avery's soul vacation was just her alone in her room with one huge doobie. Like, one of those big chungus ones that took her, like, three full days to smoke. Avery's just high out of her mind. Like, dude, I miss graduation! What? (laughs) I'm not high. I'm enlightened. Yeah. Enlightened. Stop! (laughs) (laughs) Are we supposed to get in line soon for diplomas? Um, about ten more minutes, I think. Oh. This might be a stupid question, but are we going to game anymore at all? I'm not. Nope. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. Shit. This is weird. This is really weird. Like, were we in some kind of fantasy realm where infiltrating a high school was logical and now we're just back in the real world because that's what it feels like i feel that yeah it kind of sucks i don't think it sucks yeah i mean we had some good times didn't we why be sad it's over we can be happy it happened well why do we have to think things are over at all they're just changing i mean we're still alive aren't we nothing's ended well college has And this whole setup we had, it's kind of over. See, you're thinking like gamers. Like in checkpoints or levels or final bosses. Like you're trying to win something, but you don't win life. You just live it. That does not sound like something you'd say. It's the old soul vacation. That good old ganja. I don't think that makes sense, though. Because life is like a game. You have a certain amount of time to make the most of it. And to fight to achieve our goals. But aren't you tired of fighting? Isn't your time still well spent if you settle down for a few years? Fall in love, just take things in? But what's the point of life if you're not trying to do something with it? There is no point to life. That's what I'm saying. We just... are. That's a deeply depressing point of view. Not really. If there's no point, there's no losing either. I mean, think of it however you want, but... I'm not fighting anymore. What a crazy time it's been, I mean really, wow. Drop the curtain, hear applause, go and take a bow. Play it over in your head and let it all fade out. It's over now. But I know it's never really done. There's a million things I'll never see. I know there's more than this moment I know there's more than just me Try to bend the world to fit you And you'll be the one to break You'll be free if you let go Do it for your own sake Well, I'm completely lost. Shh, 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 shut up. Okay, I'll start over. We were trying to reach for that something That something that made us feel real 
But some things lead to more somethings And they spin you till your head reels We try to win connection We try to win some cash We try to win affection Praying something's gonna last But nothing lasts and we get saddened We start the whole thing over I'm addicted to these wicked games And it's time that I got sober so I'll hold my head up high And wave a white flag higher I'm sad and sick and tired So I'm letting go It's strange I know The game is over now And maybe there's no game And minds can be rewired I'm down but I'm inspired Gonna say hello to letting go These days are over now Well, maybe I'm tired of fighting, but time's okay for right now. With all the wrongs that need righting, it's hard as hell to allow. Some recognition sends competition, just, just letting things be as they are. It's against all instinct, but I guess I'll risk it. It's simple, but so hard. So I hold my head up high. And wave a white flag higher I think it's worth a try You're never in control So, so let, let it go. go These days are over now And everything will change And minds will be rewired We're down but we're inspired Gonna say hello to letting go These days are over now The RA enters Hey, we're about to start lining up Oh, holy shit Okay Hug for good luck? Hell yeah! What? what? See you all up there. The RA exits. You and the RA? Are you? Friends now? I know. Everything is different now. I guess that's how it goes. It's strange to think I'm still changing. I kind of thought I was through. Lace, I think you're amazing. And that will always be true. All that's happened has happened. It lives inside me and you All the hurting, crying, and laughing And a million things left to do And, and nothing lasts, so let's be glad The hard times will be over We're addicted to these silly games And someday we'll get sober So hold your head up high And wave a white flag higher we're sad and sick and tired, so let's let it go Feel strange, I know the game is over now And maybe there's no game And minds can be rewired We're down but we're inspired Gonna say hello to letting go These days are over now I'm giving up but I'm just getting started 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 Oh, they're lining up! Let's go! Wait up! Right behind you. Gail, Al, and Lace excitedly run off to line up. Avery lingers and takes a deep breath. I'm giving up, but I'm just getting started. End of play. <laughs>
if I mess up another line, I'm gonna pee and shit.